Call to order the Planning Commission meeting for Thursday, July 19th, uh, 2018. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Herlicker, would you please call the roll? Yes, uh, Commissioner Knobloch. Here. Commissioner Heikola. Here. Uh, Commissioner Casey. Here. Uh, Commissioner Schmolke. Here. Uh, Chair Schwartz. Here. Um, let the record show that uh, Commissioner um, Stevenson and Commissioner Stevens are both absent tonight. Thank you. Uh, our first order of business this evening is to adopt our agenda. Chair Schwartz, I move that we adopt the agenda for this evening. Second. Motion by Knobloch, second by Casey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next we have the approval of the minutes from our June 21st, 2018 meeting. Well, Commissioner Schmoke. I'll move to approve the minutes from the June 22nd. Or second. Sorry. Abstain. <laughs> Motion from Schmoke, second by Knobloch. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Minutes are approved with one abstention. Commissioner Casey. Our first order of business this evening is planning case 18-11, a land use amendment from moderate density residential to low density residential at 2060 215th Lane. Rob Paulno, Mr. Harlicker. Oh, 125th lane. Yes. Yeah, okay. I got a typo on my sheet. It is 125th lane. Thank you. You're Hello, Commissioners. My name's uh, Matt Lupini. I'm the Community Development Intern for the City of Coon Rapids uh, this summer, working with uh, Mr. Harlicker. Um, <coughs> I uh, prepared the agenda items for planning cases 18 11 and 18 12 this evening. So if you are finding typos, uh, that, that's me. Uh, I do apologize for that. Um, so planning case 18-11, uh, the applicant's requesting a land use plan amendment to change the land use designation from moderate density residential to low density residential. Uh, the applicant is also proposing the corresponding zone change to low density residential two, uh, which is planning case 18-12. Um, so you can see on the slides, uh, the general area of the site, it's outlined in black there. Um, and there's the zone, the land use map um, of the site. Um, so the property is located between Main Street Northwest and 125th Lane, west of Shenandoah Boulevard. Um, it's primarily surrounded by low density residential uh, land uses and low density residential two uh, zonings. Um, the exception being the one uh, parcel of moderate density residential to the east of the site. Um, the site is approximately 0.76 acres in size and is just the one parcel. Um, it has the frontage on Main Street Northwest and 125th Lane Northwest. Um, it accesses Shenandoah Boulevard via 125th Lane Northwest. Um, so the description of moderate density residential land use designation is generally attached housing um, at a gross density of four to seven units per acre. Um, the description of the existing low density residential, however, is mostly single family homes with some two family homes and open space within or related to a residential development at a gross density of about two to four units per acre. Uh, this proposed low density residential land use designation is consistent with the adjacent land use to the north and west of the site, as well as the land to the south of Main Street Northwest and the land to the east of Shenandoah Boulevard Northwest. Um, the site, however, does sit along one of the more tra heavily tra traveled corridors in the city. Uh, that being the intersection at Main Street Northwest and Shenandoah Boulevard. Uh, but there are multiple traffic calming measures currently in place, uh, including a traffic wall along the southern border of the site, um, as well as restricted access to the site via 125th Lane Northwest, which can be accessed by either north or southbound travelers on Shenandoah Boulevard Northwest. 
Um, so looking at the comprehensive plan, uh, one of the stated policies is to review and update the city's zoning regulations and land use designations periodically for residential districts uh, to ensure that changing lifestyles uh, and or to reflect changing lifestyles, excuse me, and ensure that infill development is compatible with surrounding neighborhood in both scale and design. The site is currently guided for moderate density residential, uh, but as I said, it is surrounded by low density residential land use sites. So amending this land use would represent consistency with this comprehensive plan policy. And there's the zoning map. Again, you can see the it is surrounded by the low density residential two uh, zoning. Um, so when considering um, under planning case 18-12, the zoning change, uh, planning commission should give consideration to evaluation criteria uh, found in section 11-304 when making their recommendation, that being the effect on public health, safety, order, convenience, and general welfare, the effect on present and potential surrounding land uses, uh, conformance with the comprehensive land use plan and conformance with any applicable development districts. Um, so in both these cases, or in, in case 18-12, um, I indicated that it, all of these criteria were met. Uh, the proposed rezoning would be in place with low density residential zones in the general area of this site. Uh, the proposed change is consistent with surrounding land uses to the north, west, and south of Main Street Northwest, the one exception <coughs> being to the east, which has the one site that is moderate density residential. Um, the proposed land use, if the proposed land use amendment, planning case 18-11, were approved, the proposed zone change would be consistent with the city's comprehensive land use plan um, and the planned unit development to the west um, of this area is also zoned as low density residential too. Um, so in making the recommendation in planning case 18-11, uh, city recommends that the planning, or Staff recommends that the Planning Commission move to recommend approval of the proposed land use amendment from moderate density residential to low density residential based on the following. Uh, one, that the proposed amendment would create consistency in terms of land uses in this portion of the city, along with planned unit developments in this portion of the city. And two, that residential redevelopment of this site is supportive of land use policies proposed within the 2040 comprehensive plan. <coughs> And then in planning case 18-12, uh, staff would also recommend the planning commission uh, recommend approval of the proposed zone change to low density residential two, uh, based on the following. One, that the proposed rezoning to LDR two is consistent with this land, with the proposed land use designation of, or with the land use designation of low density residential. Two, that the proposed rezoning is compatible with the adjacent land uses and zoning. And three, that the proposed zone change would not have an adverse impact on the area. The area is pre predominantly zoned as low density residential two, with some PUD slated for future, future development, uh, and potential impacts on nearby residences could be mitigated by attention to site design, landscaping, and berming. Thank you. Commission, any questions? Uh, Commissioner Heichwell. Yes, I'm just wondering if the, uh, the site to the east of that then, does that affect any of the future plans or any ability to do, uh, develop anything on that? Uh, commissioners, I don't believe so, no. It's currently zoned as moderate density residential and the land use is moderate density residential, but there is just the one home on the site and I don't <coughs> believe there's any, any plans right now. Yeah, Chair and Commissioners, uh, we haven't seen any plans for redevelopment of that. Um, that. That property is owned by a local church and I believe it's, um, Pastor's residence, mm -hmm. uh, that's its affiliation to the church, and they might do some youth meetings there. But uh, at this point, there aren't any plans to redevelop um, that parcel in the this, this won't affect anything in, in the future, whatever they might decide to do or whatever with that property. No, Commissioner Heikla and, and Chair Schwartz, we're really looking at this as two independent parcels. Um, at some point, um, if the applicant decides to request it, it might be appropriate to we zoned that uh, parcel also to uh, uh, single family residential, but uh, the property owner has not indicated to the city that they have any intentions of doing that at this point. Thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> All right, we do need to have a public hearing and I believe I can have one public hearing for both cases since they're so related. Yes, sir. All right. At this time, I will open a public hearing in both planning case 18-11 and 18-12.
the land use amendment and the zone change, uh, both from moderate density residential to low density residential at 2060 125th Lane. Anyone wish to speak at the public hearing? And seeing no one, we will close the public hearing. Uh, commission, uh, your thoughts on 18-11. Mr. Chair. Commissioner Casey. Well, it seems very straightforward um, to, and, and I think it'll be a good fit for that neighborhood. It'll just kind of, slip right in there there's nothing on the site right now i don't think um, no building at all no it, it's okay. vacant there was the the old single family residence but that's been demolished mm -hmm. it looks like a good fit we should make a motion I, I, <laughs> i'll make the motion in planning case 18-11 i move that uh, the planning commission recommend approval of the proposed land use amendment from moderate density residential to low density residential based on the following two conditions. The proposed amendment will create consistency in terms of land uses in this portion of the city along with planned unit developments in this portion of the city. And number two, residential redevelopment of this site is supportive of land use policies proposed within the 2040 comprehensive plan. Motion by Casey, second by Schmolke. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. This is a recommendation by the Planning Commission, and the decision will be made by the City Council at the August 21st meeting. Our second case this evening is Planning Case 18-12, the zone change for this property from moderate density residential to low density residential too. And Mr. Lapini has already given us the uh, information on that case as well. We've had the public hearing on it. Uh, any questions or discussion for the commission? Chair Schwartz. Uh, Commissioner Nablot. Um This is also extremely straightforward and relatable to the her just previous one but uh, I think it's a, a good housekeeping to do to keep um, to be preventative and plan I had to have these parcels of land categorized to low density so um, I uh, I make a, a motion that in planning case 18-12 a planning commission recommend approval of the proposed zone change to low density residential two LDR two, based on uh, the one, the proposed rezoning to LDR two is consistent with land use. Number two, the proposed rezoning is compatible with adjacent land uses and zoning. And three, the proposed zone change would not have an adverse impact on the area. Um, and that's all. Second. Motion by Knobloch, second by Heiko. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? This is a decision by the Planning Commission. Uh, actually, it's a recommendation by the Planning Commission. Correct. And will be introduced by the City Council at their August 20, August 8th meeting, and will be a decision by the City Council at the August 21st meeting. And anything under other business, Mr. Harlicker? Uh, a little update on uh, some of the development that's going on. I know Experience Fitness is looking to open soon, um, as is. Uh, <clears throat> Sportsman's Warehouse will probably be opening up uh, first part of August. Um, I believe the, uh, the sushi restaurant in the retail center in front of Home Depot, I believe they're open. And um, the rest of the, the shells, I think there's a, uh, a hair salon 
that's going into uh, one of the spaces there. So they're, they're, they're moving forward and they're open. Um, the uh, Honda dealership and Chrysler dealership are both moving along. I know there's been a lot of soil corrections necessary for the parking lot where the Honda dealership is, uh, more than what, what people expected. So that's kind of slowed things down a little bit, but they're still moving forward. All right, thank you. Commission, have anything? Motion to adjourn? So moved. Casey? Second. Second by Schmokey. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Meetings adjourned. <laughs>